Hey guys, what's up? It's Skylar. So, the reason for the voice, I'll be getting to that. Um, so, I was recently in the hospital for three weeks. Um, I got out on Tuesday last week. Um, that's the reason why I've kind of been like, not on YouTube. Um, my right, right, right's this way. Well, my right, your right's right. I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, I was really, really sick. I'm going to be sharing with you what it's like to be in a coma. Yay! Fun stuff, and what it's like to die, um, for third time, fourth time, I don't know, um, so, I was, um, so what happened was, I was going in for a simple, um, tooth extraction. So they decided to put me under completely, like, fully under, like, asleep. So, they administered the drug. Or the anesthesia. But they administered it too fast. Guess what that led to? It led to me having a seizure and ripping my own IV out. I was choking on... I know this sounds a little gross, but I was choking on my own vomit. So I was choking, and my dad walked in the room. He happened to see it. Yada, yada, yada. Um, and then they called. So, like, no. They, uh... My dad kind of was like, hey, we have a problem. Um, I was going to, um, so they, to get me stable, they went, took me to Aurora. Sorry about the hair. It's a huge mess. Um, and so what happened was... I was transported to Aurora, and then they got me stable, and then after that, um, I was transported to Children's. I stayed in the ICU for about a week or two, I believe, I don't remember, um, but Unfortunately, when they did an MRI of my brain, they found a brain bleed. A massive one. It was about this big around, I believe. And, um, I was in a coma for a week. Um, that, like, Whoever says that you can't hear, like, a, that a person in a coma cannot hear what's going on around them, they're wrong. They are wrong. Uh, I could hear everything. Like, I could hear my sister saying, Can I write Get Better Loser on her Get Well banner? And I could hear my dad saying, Go ahead. <laughs> um... They like to joke around like that. Um, don't worry. Uh, but anyways, I was in the hospital for approximately three weeks, exactly. And I, when I suffered from the brain, brain bleed, it caused my vocal cord to be damaged. Like, it paralyzed my vocal cord. 
so my right cord, vocal cord, is paralyzed. That's why my voice is kind of funky. Um, and, yeah, I was pretty, pretty sick. And I had a tube down my throat. When I woke up, it was like I couldn't remember anything. I couldn't remember who I was. I couldn't remember what I looked like. So I legit grabbed my iPod and I looked at the camera to see what I looked like. I was kind of surprised because I had a ginormous tube in my throat and I had a feeding tube. And I had all sorts of machines hooked up to me. My heart ran on a battery. So basically, I suffered massive heart and lung failure during the coma and the brain bleed and stuff. Um, and my heart and lungs and immune system are pretty bad. They said they might, the doctor said that they might not fully recover, that we don't really know what's going to happen. Um, I was pretty bad, you know, like, and this all happened from a mistake made in, made during a simple tooth extraction. The type of anesthesia that they gave me was fentanyl, and that is very deadly. If you guys go ahead and look it up, like, how fentanyl is deadly, like, You'll see. Um, but right now, my heart and my lungs and my immune system are knocked down. They're knocked down. And it's, they're not looking too good. But tomorrow I'm going in for a, another heart appointment. I have a huge scar on the back of my head from them literally going in my head. It's crazy to think about. Doctors were literally in my head, touching my brain. It's crazy to think about that. Um, I probably should have put like some kind of warning on this. Oops. Um, <laughs> you know. But, like, I could hear everything going on around me. I could, I couldn't see anything, but I could hear everything. And it's like, some of it was out of body. And like, I literally died. So like, I was a code blue, at least once. Um, which basically a code blue is your heart completely stops. My heart completely stopped. My lungs stopped working. I was being kept alive by machines. Like, my heart literally ran on a battery. Like, there was a pump that was... I have a scar also, kind of right here. And, um... I... That scar stayed there. Well, it's going to stay there for a while. It's going to stay there forever. It might fade, but, you know... Um, it was pretty deep, but they had three tubes going through it, and my heart basically ran on a battery, like they had a pump, and that pump was connected to my heart, and it, it was keeping my heart beating, and that pump was also connected to an outlet. So it ran on a battery for a long time. And to think, it's like all this happened in the span of three weeks. Um, yeah. So, that's why I was gone. And I'll definitely explain more in future videos and update you on my recovery and stuff. Um, but I love you guys so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.